Hey guys, so I have a three day weekend this week. I'm going to Matsuyama in Ehime. It took me two hours and 44 minutes to get to Matsuyama. I had to take this bus downtown to a second express bus. Hello from the streets of Kochi City. My bus was just late by two minutes, which made me miss my connecting bus. So now the next bus is in for another hour and a half. So I'm trying to figure out how to kill some time. Kind of sad that I'm going to get to uh, Matsuyama later than I hoped. I'm hoping to find a park or a coffee shop. Somewhere where I can hang out for the next hour and a half before um, the bus comes. All right, so wish me luck. So I think I found a good place to hang out while I am waiting for my bus for the next hour and a half. It's this cute little park. So I'm gonna hang out here, probably study a little bit. Yeah, hopefully catch the next bus with no issues. So I made it onto the bus. These views had me feeling like my weekend vacation had already begun before I even got to Ehime. I mean, look at this beauty. The scenery is just part of the reason why you should visit the countryside of Japan. So do yourself a favor, go out of your way, take the trip, make it over to Shikoku or Kyushu, somewhere off the beaten path. Don't just go to Tokyo, Kyoto, Osaka, experience all that Japan has to offer. I mean, look at this. And then as soon as I landed in Matsuyama, I was greeted by the Bochan train as seen in Spirited Away before I headed to my hotel. And since it's near the entrance, we'll start with the bathroom. You'll notice there is only a toilet, no shower. To shower, you have to go down to the public bath area. And then here is the main area. Over here is my friend's bed. This one is my bed. And we did separate them so that we didn't roll onto each other in the middle of the night. And over here on the table is some snacks that were left to us by the hotel staff. They also left us some tea, which we kind of already got into. This was some of the local tea. They also left us some local snacks. This was a bread with anko paste or red bean paste. It was really delicious. And then in this room over here is just a sitting area and a sink to get ready and wash your hands with. It came with toothbrushes, toothpaste, some skincare products, which was cool. And then after settling into the hotel, we went out to town to explore. We stumbled upon the Isaniwa Shrine, which we had to climb a lot of stairs to get to, but it was so worth it. We made it there for sunset. Highly recommend going to sunset if you make it out here. It was a beautiful shrine. And then we went to check out the beautiful 3,000 year old famous bathhouse doggo onsen as seen in spirited away unfortunately the main part was under construction but we did bathe in the other area and then at night we saw doggo onsen puts on this cool light and music show and then it wouldn't be a trip to an onsen town if we didn't stop for some sake and look who i found in the garden of the sake place some Studio Ghibli characters. Hey guys, it's 7 a.m. here. We just woke up getting ready to go down to breakfast. We're going to have a traditional Japanese breakfast here at the Japanese Inn, the Ryokan. So yeah, then we're gonna try to go on a little hike or nature walk of some sort, we don't know yet. Then we're gonna go to Matsuyama Castle, followed by maybe a museum or lunch, depending if we're hungry. Let's go. Okay, so we're down at breakfast, and this is what we'll be eating. So uh, looks like okay, we got so salad, ooh, Japanese pickles, tofu, wow. something, maybe tofu, maybe an egg, fish cake, maybe? We got some miso soup, some we got some fire, <laughs> <laughs> we got, yeah, all this stuff. Itatake mas. Oh, 
Oh, it's so nice. Yeah. This park is gorgeous. We're in Doggo Park, walking distance from our hotel. Yeah, it's really beautiful. So is it plum first? Yeah, first plums and then the cherry blossoms. They're so cute! Wow. Oh, look at these ones. What are you? Doggo Park is a national historical site. 250 years ago, it used to be the home of Yuzuki Castle. Now it's known as a beautiful hanami or cherry blossom viewing site for both locals and tourists alike. We stumbled upon a few shrines in the park and then made our way up a lot of stairs. I wonder how old these stone steps are. Oh, that was a workout. <laughs> so there's this observatory. Oh my god, so many stairs. Here we are, top of the whole city. Wow. Oh yeah. Check out those sexy mountains. So we stumbled upon a small shrine. This is where we're eating lunch. This is our booth. Eek is getting this. Kudoi pan sato. Yo, look at this. We'll do like a shingle or a double. <laughs> In Tokyo. And I look <laughs> so I got this delicious brown bread. We're in hands yours. Better. Okay. So we're taking the ropeway to Matsuyama Castle. We just got our tickets from a vending machine. Heading up to the third floor where we will catch the tram thing. Every 10 minutes. Some few more stairs to go. We'll be at Matsuyama Castle. Matsuyama Castle was constructed between 1602 and 1628. It was ruled by the Matsudaria family until the feudal era, and then at some point it was subject to a death by lightning and had to be rebuilt in 1802. Saying that even the people who went through, it's kind of a gateway for them to be killed anyways. Through the gate, you're still at this area. They can still shoot you. Main tower. Different year, so it was also struck by lightning. It's struck by lightning a lot, I guess, because it's so high up. Okay. So steep. to the top of the Matsuyama castle and okay and then on our way down from the castle we were greeted by some fresh ehime orange juice the ehime prefecture is famous for its oranges so we had to try it and oh my gosh, you guys, it was delicious and refreshing. And then we made our way to the chairlift to get down the mountain. We're going on a chairlift. Wow. So we're on our way down from Matsuyama Castle via chair. I have my backpack on. 
like a baby. You can see the castle. Bye, castle. <laughs> Highly recommend taking the chairlift down, by the way. It's really fun. And those beautiful plum blossoms. But yeah, it's so beautiful. Look at this. And just like that, it was time to go home. We took this cool old tram thing back to the hotel. And in the morning, I hopped back on the bus to go home where I was sent off by more beautiful countryside scenery. Well guys, that's it for my weekend trip to Matsuyama. I do hope you get to visit this beautiful city. Please like and subscribe if you would like to see more and see you next time. Bye-bye.